It's no surprise that most women struggle in this generation with the problem of comparing themselves to each other. Why? Because it's one of the easiest ways the enemy uses to steal our joy and keep us from doing the unique things that God created us to do for His glory. I've recognized the root issue with comparison in my life is sin. God says so many times in Scripture that we aren't to covet what others have. I don't know about you, but I have certainly coveted the gifts that God has given to others. I sing with two other girls, and it's very easy to compare myself often. Shelly has a gift for hospitality. She's a great cook. Lee has a gift for organization and decorating. Another friend of mine always seems to know the right thing to say in any situation, while someone else can sing circles around me. Not that we can't learn things from others, but when my focus is to try to mold myself into their image instead of Christ's image, I'm the one who loses myself in the midst of it all. Trying to be like someone else has not only sucked the joy out of my life, but has caused me to be depressed and even jealous of the good things that happen in the lives of others. It's really ugly. There used to be a commercial that said, stay in your lane. And every time I would see it, I would laugh a little, but there's so much truth to that statement. God has created a lane for us all, a path He wants us on. But when we cross into someone else's lane, there's always some sort of wreck. If I'm so focused on what's beside me, because it seems prettier, classier, cooler, or whatever, instead of what God has put in front of me, I'll miss the very wonderful journey God has planned personally for my life not to mention the lives He wants me to minister to. I love this verse, um, 1 Peter 4.10, it says, Just as each of you have received a special gift, a spiritual talent, an ability graciously given by God, employ it in serving one another as good stewards of God's multifaceted grace, faithfully using the diverse, varied gifts and abilities granted to Christians by God's unmerited favor. Use the gifts God has specifically given you to serve others. That's really the key. And in the end, we are all trying to look like Jesus instead of someone else anyway. I love how it says, using the diverse, varied gifts and abilities. That's a good thing, or else both you and I would be redundant in this world. Have a blessed day and be grace to someone in your life today.